Sorry, the member's time. I call Maggie Berry. Oh, Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. I rise to speak to the State Sector and Public Finance Fiscal Responsibility Amendment Bill in its second reading. Basically, Mr Speaker, this is a document that updates the old Public Finance Act 1989, which has stood us in pretty good stead, actually, for the past 25 years or so. It's a piece of legislation, though, that does need to be brought up to date and needs to be future-proofed, and that's what this omnibus bill, uh, as our Acting Chair of um, f &E said, Paul Goldsmith earlier, it provides a legislative grunt. So that's pretty much what this bill does. The three new provisions, which were outlined uh, by the Minister earlier today, is to formulate fiscal strategy to recognise its interaction with monetary policy, uh, something of a mystery to the people on the opposing benches. Uh, it's also designed to formulate fiscal strategy uh, recognising its likely impact on current and future generations. And of course, ultimately, what we need to do with this is to ensure that the the Crown's resources are managed effectively and efficiently, which is something that the Opposition woefully were incapable of doing in their nine long years on the Treasury benches. So the Select Committee process is of course a robust one. Our various parties and speakers before me have alluded to the fact that some changes were made. Overall, with this piece of legislation, we received four submissions and we heard two of them. And there were a couple of changes that are worth mentioning, Mr Speaker. One of them is that, of course, as we know, the relationship between fiscal policy and monetary policy is a two-way thing. And the revised wording of the Act as a result of the discussions at Select Committee did clarify that further. And keeping up with the times and this government's desire to th see more services available online. Uh, this has been future-proof because the bill is now amended uh, so that it's able to bring that fiscal responsibility provisions in line with modern technology, which is where, via the internet, a lot of people uh, read legislation like this and need to go to it uh, to find out what's happening. Uh, to clarify as well, I think something that has come forward from some of the other speakers today, uh, a misnomer, a common sense of confusion, so to put that right, some people think that this is a bill that is a result of a confidence and supply agreement between this government and the ACT Party. Uh, the Labour Party's minority report, for example, alluded to that. That is, of course, not true. Uh, this is a bill that arose out of a Treasury-initiated review of the fiscal responsibility provisions of the Public Finance Act, uh, and I commend it to the House. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I understand the next call is a split call. I call Darian Fenton.